Hey y'all. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today, we're gonna be doing some splitting. But instead of by machine, we're gonna do a little bit, uh, we're gonna do a little, go actually a little bit primal on these guys right here. And so I apologize for the wind in advance. It got real windy on me all of a sudden. But uh, let's get into this one and let's have a great time today. All right, y'all, so again, we're busting these guys down to get them into the truck. But uh, yeah, it is, it's a good day for a good mauling so I can keep my body nice and cool uh, with all this wind that's going around. So let's get into this. And let's see how long it'll take me to bust up these rounds with this Vulcan Maul. Guys, this thing has been with me now for a couple years. I used to have a maul, but uh, kind of broke that one, unfortunately, or it got stuck in a piece of wood and then I broke it with a splitter. So this guy's been with me for a couple years, and I really do like busting these, uh, busting these rounds up with a maul because, one, it gets a good exercise. For me, it gets a really good exercise, and uh, it is hell of a feeling to bust these guys up with a maul instead of going home and always using the splitter or having to do like shive and lift these guys or noodle these guys up and into the truck. So let's get these guys busted up and let's see how long it takes me to do so. I'm also gonna put this mic on the camera stand so I don't lose it or hurt it. So you guys can still hear me and this stuff. Again, great cardio. Let's get these two taken care of, and then we'll talk about it. Woo. This wind is insane today. Picked up at like 2.33 o'clock, but yeah, that big one's going to be a doozy. Let's see about getting her done. Oh yeah, if you have any questions about any, any of these logs, feel free to drop them in the comments. If you like what you see, young 31 year old getting this stuff done, don't be afraid to give me a big thumbs up, y'all. It means a lot. And as of this video, we're about 302 subscribers. That is pretty flippin' awesome if you ask me. So, thank you again. Let's get back to it.
bring y'all up here for the last one. Because why the heck not? Ooh, I'll also adjust you down. There you go. Much better. on the bone still. Those guys didn't have as much. I was saying I got a lot of uh, got a lot of meat in this log right here, and it's it's probably every bit of 24 inches tall, most likely. And so, actually, here, let me just check by way of my knee. It's over 24 inches tall, so it's still got a lot left in it. These other ones are probably 16 or so inches, uh, but yeah, this this is a hoss. And this was all cut when I was doing the testing for Brad's, doing the uh, testing before going to Brad's with the Husqvarna. So uh, these will most likely be ending up in my wood pile. But you know what, y'all? It's not always about the prettiest wood, just about getting wood. Put that in it, whichever ways you want, you want to. And with this cold, I got a little bit of a stuffy nose kicking in. So let me get the, this clip back on. And I will get this back to getting busted down. I did find a seam though, so I'm gonna work that seam a little bit to see how well it's gonna go. Oh, oh there we go. That seam came through for me. And on, almost on cue, we got snowflakes again. Snow flurries, not snowflakes, but snow flurries. I guess we gotta bust this guy down even further and harder. Well, must have a knot in it. There you go. Ooh, chilly. I think my buddy called for some flurries today. Listen to that work. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. The designs in these black, well, not designs, but the coloring in these guys is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. A little bit of a purple, purple and brown, a little bit of yellow in there. Oh, black one, that's so amazing. And I bet this being a lumber log would be even cooler. So. I'm going to take the rest of this log up to uh, freaking Jeeps. It's this one right here. I'm about to see how I can get that on a trailer and get that to John over there freaking Jeep because I bet that would make some cool, cool slabs. All right, let's see how much further I can get this big one down. And, and uh, if I can't, then I can't. You know, it is what it is. So we'll still throw it in the truck. It's not going, it's not staying here. It's going with me. So let's see how far we can go with it. All right. 
there's one. That's better. Starting to get her. There we go. So work from the outside in, I guess. Almost got another one there. Ah, oh, there we go. Bit more forceful in the down pull of the. Oh, there we go. So it will bust up. Just took me a little bit of time to get it all busted up. All right, one more half. Oh, there we go. Better. Better. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. That was better. Almost. Come on. Give it up. There we go. All right, y'all. There she blew. Just like all this flipping wind. So y'all, that's it for this one. As you see, I have plenty of black walnut for right now. I'll go back and I'll use this dirty hand tool splitter on it to get it down to the size that I and my clientele like. Um, and something else I wanted to mention and ask, if you guys have a YouTube channel and you wanna reach out and you wanna help me add to this back window, the email will, will be showing up on the screen right here well, I guess right here. And it's wd30firewood at gmail.com. That is the way that I'd like to communicate with y'all. If you have my personal number and you already have stickers, I really want to leave this for the people who don't already have my stickers. So wd30firewood at gmail.com. That would be amazing because I want to fill up that back window because guys, rolling around with all y'all stickers is so much fun because I have people ask me a bunch of times, who's this, who's that, and like, where are they from? And it also just brings attention to you guys because you got more people on the back glass than anything else. So from WD30 to everyone out there, thank you for, thank you for coming to watch the video. Thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing, and thank you for leaving a comment down below because guys, any interaction is a great interaction. And y'all, from the bottom of my heart, I love you. Go do good out in the world. And hopefully, if I'm lucky, I'll see you here on WD30 Adventures again. So I will see y'all.